March, the Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago and I must say that was good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. My friends, thank you for joining us today here on the radio slash television transmission. We're going to be going back to David Knight in the radio studio here in just a few minutes. But I wanted to spend some time breaking down what's transpired since UN Agenda 21 was globally ratified by the United Nations back in 1992 to be international law, whether nations want to adopt the law or not. As far as the UN sees it and the eugenicist globalists that control it, uh, they are going to enforce it by hook or by crook. In the past, people like Napoleon Bonaparte and Adolf Hitler in Europe tried to take over by force. But the corporatists uh, learned that what can't be done with force can be done by stealth. So I wanted to go back into the archives here in a few minutes and play some clips here for the radio and TV audience today. Uh, excerpts from my 1997 film that I produced with my cousin who's been working here off and on since. Uh, Buckley Hammond, who, 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 who ran camera with me. And, and I just mentioned that fact because he's recently come back to work with us after being gone for about 11 years. We're very excited uh, to have him here. But when I shot and directed and produced this film uh, back in 1997, uh, almost no one was aware of Agenda 21. 
Almost no one was aware of Cloward and Piven and the plan to bring in neo-feudalism in the UN's own words. And we cover that in the film Endgame with Dr. Michael Kaufman, whose maps in Congress off the UN document showed half the country off limits to human activity completely. Then the rest of it only under partial human use. And again, that's down to the mile, land controlled uh, by the establishment. So it's a form of artificial scarcity, not just here in the US, but worldwide, to shut down your competition in business, real estate, industry, where only you are allowed to operate and, and, and uh, no one else is. A form of corporate or diplomatic immunity from taxes, regulations, you name it. And I know I hammer this almost every week, it's because it's so key, it's how the world really works. And, and the globalists are quite public about that, but I wanted to just look at a quick web search under environmental tyranny and Agenda 21 uh, that Rob Dew did today and just go over some of the recent history uh, of what's been unfolding. First off, I want to look at the New York Times. Uh, they are pretty much the establishment talking point propaganda center for the rest of the dinosaur media. And uh, for the last few years, this was in 2012, uh, they have been uh, running around saying that there is no Agenda 21, there is no move to control human activity, there is no move to use zoning uh, as a form of feudalism to bring in a new dark age of control, even though that's in the Biological Diversity Assessment 1996 and part of Agenda 21 to uh, 1992. But, but here it is, activists fight green projects seeing UN plot. And they're like, oh, it's so terrible, these projects we have to basically federalize every town in the country uh, by getting cities to adopt these regulations to circumvent the states and go under UN treaty. Oh my gosh, it's insane. It doesn't exist. None of it is happening. So I thought I would just show you here, if you're a TV viewer or direct you if you're a radio listener, to even Wikipedia. And everybody knows Wikipedia is not totally accurate when it gets vandalized, but usually it's very accurate. You can go to the bibliography. Uh, on Agenda 21, on Wikipedia, and you can see the bibliography uh, to all the government documents and the official UN website uh, where it's on record. And uh, this is the so-called Voluntary Implemented Action Plan of the United Nations. But that's not really true because through adjoining treaties uh, in UNESCO, it is brought in to law. But the point is, it does exist despite what the New York Times says. And it shows that the New York Times has lost a lot of power because famously they did a review of the film New World Order that came out about a year after Bilderberg 2008 where Obama and Hillary were meeting in secret. We got video of this. They said that I was there imagining they were meeting, having a full-on hallucination at the Marriott in Chantilly, Virginia. Even though now it's totally admitted to have happened Remember, the New York Times said none of that even went on. Pay no attention uh, to the man behind the curtain. Move along, move along. These aren't the droids uh, you're, you're looking for. But again, the good news is people are seeing the manifestation of Agenda 21. So, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, 17 years after I produced my first film, I thought that we would just go over some more of the things it's doing. Uh, let's look at this article right here, CBS News. Bloomberg announces winner of micro apartment design competition. And you've got these big real estate owners like Bloomberg and others, it's happening in San Francisco and Austin, Texas, not just New York, where, oh, you pay double or triple per square foot what you would have paid for a 2,000 square foot apartment or a 1,000 square foot apartment, or you got a big family, a 3,000 know, foot condo, you now pay effectively, ladies and gentlemen, double or even triple for a 250 square foot, and now they're making them smaller. They're building one in Austin that will house over 5,000 people where it's 200 square feet, despite all the studies showing it's like elephants in tiny cages, not good for you. So this is all in Agenda 21 to have higher taxes and to take more of your money and then to get you to accept less as if it's cool.
And I get the consumerism can be out of control, but these are elites who want red carpets and, 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 and Air Force One and 15 houses and five wives and six kids like Ted Turner, but you're not supposed to have air conditioning uh, or ever be able to have a car, as Obama famously told Africans earlier this year. In fact, we'll play that clip now. Ultimately, if you think about all the youth that everybody's mentioned here in Africa, if everybody's raising living standards to the point where everybody's got a car and everybody's got air conditioning and everybody's got a big house, uh, well, the planet will boil over. All right, uh, so Bloomberg announces winner of Micro Apartments design competition. This is just a few years ago. Now it's going on everywhere. And, and this is how they sell it as the newest, coolest thing. Hey, pay double or triple and live in a coffin house. For rent, your very own Agenda 21 shoebox apartment. Again, this is being uh, reported across the board. Here's another headline. Micro apartments could be hazardous to your mental health. And then it breaks down uh, the studies showing that it's not good for you to basically live in a jail cell uh, so the elites uh, can control and run your life. Here's another one. Living in a box, the desperate workers forced to live in a tiny coffin apartments of Tokyo, which still costs up to 400 pounds a month or about $700. Again, it's about charging you to live in a coffin style house more. It's not about cutting back on, on, on spoilage or living large. It's about poor people learning to live even more poor. Uh, and there's uh, more breakdowns here in Austin uh, with the development uh, where they are setting up short-term rentals controlled in a complex that the city is going to run and basically own uh, just very scary to have government like the Communist Chinese getting into the business uh, of these coffin-like facilities. Uh, moving right along, here's another example of what Agenda 21 means. Western land takeover, former BLM chief, state lawmakers clash as millions of acres are taken out of use. Case in point, the Bundy Ranch, where you had 35 families, now only one, because they used the regulations and fees to raise it to bankrupt you. Like Obama said, you can build a coal power plant, but we're going to raise the taxes to bankrupt you. You can have ranches, but we're just going to raise the prices till it bankrupts you, and we wonder why beef prices have doubled. Uh, so continuing here, here's another article along that line. BLM eyes 90,000 acres of Texas land. They only you know, have half the West and hundreds of millions of acres. Now they want even more of rancher's land that they have the title to. Sticker shock is steak uh, house beef prices, highest in 27 years. Uh, so th these are just examples of what living under this system uh, is like. Now, in conclusion, before we go to these clips from my first film, America Destroyed by Design, uh, let's go to some more of these articles. Here's Fortune. Agenda uh, 21, in global conspiracy or climate savior? And they kind of, you know, make a joke out of it. Because again, all the different establishment publications don't want us mobilizing against this corporate stealth takeover of society uh, that, that's in all the documents in public. So again, here's that move under Agenda 21 to abolish the suburbs. Uh, Obama, will he abolish them? Agenda 21 conspiracy to wipe out freedoms of all U.S. citizens. And it gets into the idea of urban sprawl being horrible. The problem is we're already laid out to live like that. We don't want to go into the central cities where everything costs so much. This will only hurt the poorest people that much more. This is the model of social engineering. Here's another headline. Gen 21, GOP candidate uh, vows to stop UN plan. It's very popular to expose this and to run on a prosperity ticket. That's why the system doesn't want us talking about it. Here's another one. Esquire uh, saying that... Uh, it's a con game uh, to try to say that this program is even going on. Remember how they would try to deny the, that the UN even basically was trying to set up a world government? Or they try to say there was no NSA spying or there were no lies about WMDs in Iraq? I mean, the people know that, no, this is going on. And denying that it exists doesn't work anymore. In fact, under Agenda 21, they've tried to ban all over the world children learning how to be farmers under their parents and doing their chores. Here's a headline, EPA moles tougher dust standards, agency moles particulate matter standards that would shut down every hay barn in 
the country. That's out of the Courier Press. Here's another one. Arizona.